The home of the Dallas Cowboys will host the Big 12 championship game Saturday noon Eastern on ABC. Final time, Texas will play in the Big 12s. They take on Ollie Gordon in Oklahoma State. Texas looking to snap its 13-season drought since its last conference title, the longest gap in program history, while also trying to impress the playoff committee in their final game to stamp their resume. We are now joined by Texas head coach Steve Sarkeesian and, and coach first Big 12 title game appearance since 2018 for Texas year three for you. What did it take to get the Longhorns back in the conference championship? Man, it's it's been a heck of a journey, you know, Matt, like to think about where we were when we first started in year one uh, and and just kind of changing the culture and and in kind of building upon from year one to year two and some tough losses along the way. But I thought our culture just continued to build. We continue to bring in kind of talent along the way. And then this year, the thing I think that we've been able to do uh, is find ways to win. You know, we're a really versatile football team. We've got a, we've got a great deal of depth on our team. We've got a really good defense, a really good offense. Uh, we're excellent on special teams. And we've needed all of that throughout the year to, to get to this point. But it's, it's an awesome opportunity for us, you know, to be back in the Big 12 title game. Uh, and to think, you know, we haven't won a title since 2009. Yeah. Uh, it's one that I know our guys are looking forward to the opportunity. So that kind of leads me to the next question of what it would mean to close out this chapter of Texas football in the Big 12 with winning what would be your final Big 12 championship game. It, it would be awesome. And we've been talking about it from from the summer. Um, you know, when when the when the Big 12 when the Texas got in the Big 12 in 1996, uh, they won the conference championship the first year they were there. Uh, they only won two more along the way. And those other two years were 05 and 09. And those two years they went and played for a national championship. So uh, we're trying to get our fourth conference championship here in the last 27 years. Uh, and hopefully hi history can repeat itself. Yeah, And you kind of alluded to it because you know this each season it has its adversity. You guys had the loss to Oklahoma. Then QB Quinn Ewers, he was injured for a couple of games. Your star running back Jonathan Brooks lost for the season with an ACL. So through that adversity, Coach, what did you learn about your team during those ups and downs? Well, I think the first thing is that, you know, this team is really well connected. You know, they, they play for one another. Uh, I, I love the versatility of this team, which I touched on. I think our interior defensive front is fantastic. We can defend, we can stop the run. We're, we defend the pass, we create turnovers. Uh, we've got the leading punt return yarder in the, in the country in Xavier Worthy. We can block punts, we've returned kickoffs for touchdowns, but yet we're an exciting offense. We've got playmakers all over the field, Quinn's back healthy. Uh, and so all of it adding up, I, I, what I've learned is that we're a really versatile team and no matter what each game calls for, uh, we're more than capable of, of finding a way to win it predicated on what, what needs to be done. Yeah, you know, and looking at your depth chart, I would say you're pretty good at ID star running backs, and Oklahoma State has one of their own in Ollie Gordon. How would you describe him and how he plays? Well, I, I love Ollie Gordon. I love the way that he plays. You know, he's a big physical back, uh, and, and they utilize him out of the pistol and he runs downhill. Uh, but the thing that he also has, he has, you know, big playability. You know, when he gets in the open field, he can take it the distance. Uh, so we've got to do a great job with gap integrity. We've got to do a really good job at the line of scrimmage. And then if he does get out, we've got to do a good job of tackling in the secondary and getting him on the ground. Going to be a fun one to watch him against your guys' defense. And as we know, Coach, the penultimate college football playoff rankings get released tonight. How much do you pay attention to them from, let's call it, rankings one to the ones that will be released tonight? You know, I think as a college football fan, which which I am, I, I love our sport. I, I do think I, I pay attention to it. But but quite frankly, the only thing we can control from a from a football perspective is what we do on the field. And and we've got to continue to play good football. We need to prepare really well this week for a really good opponent Saturday, and uh, and put our best foot forward Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Look, I, I know by asking this question that there is a ton of football left to play this weekend, but. Should you win the Big 12 championship, Coach, what would your resume say about being deserving of one of those four playoff spots? Well, I, I like our resume. You know, clearly, you know, I think our strength of schedule speaks for itself. I think we played quality opponents from, from our non-conference schedule all the way through our conference schedule. Uh, you know, to me, and, I, and I, I say this because I was at Alabama, to go into Tuscaloosa, Alabama and win by 10 points, uh, where they're 59-2 and two in their last 61 games, and the only other team to beat them was Joe Burrow uh, and LSU. I, I think that that speaks for itself. Uh, and again, I think to the versatility and depth of our team. So, hey, I, I'm, not, I'm not here to, to, to campaign for us. What I do know is we got to take care of business Saturday. 
Uh, and then hopefully you guys have me on Saturday night, and then I can start really campaigning. There you go. Hey, look, if you want to be on college football final, we'll ha we'd love to have you on. Dan Mullen would love to fire some questions at you. You know Joey Galloway and his act, but we'll have fun with it. Big 12 championship for the final time, Texas, 12 p.m. Eastern on ABC against Oklahoma State. Sark, good talking to you, buddy. Can't wait to catch up soon. Thanks, Matt. Hook him. See you. Give me something. Give me something.